Why, hello there, and welcome to a fresh edition of I Hate Sundays. Oh my god, guys, this is a special episode. This is officially the last I Hate Sundays we are doing from Germany before I move to Los Angeles. This is the last time we're seeing this room. You will also be seeing it in the last two episodes of The Movie Void Season 2. But that will be that. After that, I'm living in LA, and I'll have a completely different background behind me every week. Of course, I'll be returning here every once in a while, and we'll get this room back, but the thing is, it's not going to be the main base anymore. That part of my life is over from now. Every Sunday from now, the next Sundays are going to be in California, mostly. And Vegas sometimes, too. I don't know. We'll see how where life takes me. It's a very strange and queasy feeling. I am happy as I've never been before, but I'm absolutely terrified. So I'm sort of like, you know, feeling a little bit like Neil Breen's character felt in Fateful Findings. You know that scene with, I can't wait any longer. I'm not ready for this. I can't wait any longer. I'm not ready for this! Yeah, that one. So, what I was thinking that we do today, since it's our last weekend, in my old hometown, Frankfurt, man, and what we never really did, like, I was thinking of, I'll show you guys around a little. Um, we also are going to have this little get-together with my friends, the last time we chill. So... Let's go. Let's leave this place and check out my little old school hometown, Frankfurt, while I'm still living here. Oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. So, yeah. It's a little weird walking down the street at the moment, knowing that it's going to be a very, very long, long time until I'm gonna walk it down and start a Sunday from here. To think how many Sundays we just like started with me walking down the street. Ah, makes this feel all so fucking surreal, goddamn. But that's the way the story goes. And I'm sure we will have such exciting Sundays in LA. Like we already had three and they were fucking incredible. Yeah, this is this is basically the area I live in here in Germany. Yeah, it's quite cute and quaint, don't you think? And this is the area where the library is. Everyone hanging around here sort of looks like a drug dealer, but nobody's actually selling drugs. It's a little sad. It's the train station. This is how we get around here. It's surrounded by very old pictures of the university here. My favorite is this one. They all look so excited for no reason whatsoever. So this here is the old street where I used to live in. It's actually very nice. There's all sorts of little cafes and restaurants. It's pretty packed on Saturdays. I've been getting coffee at the Starbucks over here since Starbucks exists. Uh, it is just so weird after all this time walking through here and knowing that I'm not going to be seeing this place in a while. The street. The funny thing about the street is like most stores that open here only last two months because no one can keep up with the rent. It's really heavy. So I'm really wondering when I'm back what stores are still going to be here. This Armagildo Zegna store just opened. I wonder if it's still gonna be there. So this is the old opera house, a very old historic part of Frankfurt. I always used to walk by here and there's a lot of events and stuff happening here. At the moment there's a demonstration, a right-wing demonstration. Areas, it's funny as shit because this is the demonstration. All the cops are protecting it of course. And this over here is the counter demonstration. 
you know, people in Frankfurt really don't appreciate right-wing extremism. And that's good. We like it that way. And I hope it stays this that way until I come back to visit here. The sun is slowly setting in Frankfurt tonight. This is actually so sad, having such a beautiful sunset on oh, maybe our last party night here before we go. Faye has joined the party. Joined the party. Yeah. What we're gonna start the party? Yeah. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do something I've never done before in all these years I've been living here. We, typical tourist activity. Yeah, a typical tourist activity. We are going to go on a train called the Ebelvoy Express, which is a train that drives through the city and you can drink apple wine on it. Uh, drink that is very common in this region you don't really find anywhere else in the world it's a, specialty. it's a local specialty that's like apple wine with carbonated stuff it's not like and cider it's, it's, there's like a strong sulfur flavor yeah too, because there's a sulfur process it's it's a lot uh, more it's not as sweet as cider it's not as thick as cider 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 <laughs> it's it's very tasty so if you're ever here you guys should really check out Ebelvoy. Look, there it is, coming right at us. There it is, the Apple Wine Express. Cheers, everyone! I'm drinking Apple Wine in the Apple Wine Express. I'll get some hot buttons. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite view of the city. It's a little skyline, it's nothing like the skylines in the US. But every time I'm pissed off at the city, I look at the skyline and forgive it for everything it has ever done to me. <laughs> but it's my favorite view, like it's the, we're the only German city with a skyline. <laughs> So now we got off and we're at the main train station. Our main train station actually isn't really pretty at all. It's, it's actually quite ugly, to tell you the truth. This is how it basically looks like downstairs. And, and I always find it a little sad because everybody who comes to this town and sees this train station always thinks, ew, gross, even though we have such a beautiful city. We are now moving to Nikki's, where we'll have a small little get together still. Making moves. Yeah. But before we do that, we gotta drink a Pelinkovac, a Croatian schnapps. It's gonna happen again. At our old Croatian bar. And the football pub. The football the pub. The one. And only. <laughs> Broman can't leave because this dog, he can't move across the room because this dog is, is like, is like fucking with him. Yo, he doesn't fuck around. Like, the, when Luca arrived, he went like over the top. Yeah, yeah, he went crazy. That's one crazy ass dog. It's Norman Shupi. I will miss him. Oh, oh I'm so sad. But uh, you will get a great time. I'm going back! Yeah. So I'm gone forever. Sometimes, and I will visit you. Everyone, guess what just happened? Oh. It just turned Sunday! Woo! Walking on 
Du musst so mit dem Kopf wackeln. Und dann aussehen. Ich hab dieses Video nie gesehen. Aber du musst stylisch die Bilder aussehen. Stylisch, stylisch. Oh, George Clooney. Yeah, yeah, Hast du gute yeah. Augen. Hast das finde ich kaum Augen. zu glauben. Glaube. Ich chill auf einer Liege und ja. esse nur noch ja. Trauben wie ein ha. Römer. Römer! Ha. Don! Der hat die Augen! Ha. Ich dachte, du machst mal weiter, weil. Ja. Okay, the last thing I'm doing before splitting town is having one more round of my favorite cocktails in the city. And my favorite Bloody Mary is in the Sophie Town. And finally, we have one last spicy mango mojito. No! Live! Live! Live, spicy mango mojito! You must live! He's alive. There it is, the one and only spicy mango mojito. And we're trying this one later. Tasty food, tasty food. Yeah, yeah. So here I stand, mango mojito in hand. One last look at my favorite little skyline in all of Europe. Yeah, I love this little skyline. It's like my good friend. We've seen a lot of things together. I'm gonna miss this place, but I think when I'm gonna be in LA, I'll just be so happy in LA that it won't really hurt my soul so much to be far away from it. But yeah. I'm trying this new drink. It's the best thing anybody has ever made out of a coconut flavored Red Bull. So yeah, everyone, this is basically it. I can't believe this is happening, but this is basically it, yeah. Um, this is for now, the last Sunday in Germany. I'll be back here for sure, but from next Sunday on, I'll be based in LA. The next Sunday is also going to be from LA. So... That's pretty exciting. It's also the 50th one. And I am not really in the mindset today to react to any kind of trailer because everything is just way too exciting and there's too much stuff to do and too much stuff to organize. If I react to anything, I like to give it my full concentration. Okay, I've reacted to trailers drunk, but still, like, I want to be in the mindset to be focused on what I'm watching even if I'm wasted. <laughs> now I'm just like too much uh, anxiety, too much um, excitement and really freaking out because this is all happening because I'm like flying the day after tomorrow. And uh, that means goodbye Germany. Now, I'm not going to post some tragic um, little montage of me leaving and stuff. Um, you'll get that in in uh, the LA Void 2, which is the next app episode of, which is the next app episode after the next episode of the movie Void. This week we also put up the other parts of the journey that made me make this decision. Um, the Vegas Void and the Toronto Void. And this week I'm gonna be putting out the LA Void 1. And of course, River Dailing. And the new episode of River Dailing is coming on later tonight or early in the morning tomorrow, so that's still coming. And. Yep, everyone! This is it. Bye. Let's close this with a really cheesy Miley Cyrus song from the pre Wrecking Ball era. And I hope you